Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. Now in this video, we will see about the how to how to add this data stream and the action stream. We will try to see. So now in this one, we have a data stream. So the post data which we are getting from the HTTP observable, this is nothing but a data stream. Now we need to have the action stream. So the action stream is nothing but the user what he selects from the, the drop down. So now let's convert this one into an action stream. So in order to convert into an action stream, what we need to do is, so here we need to create a subject. Now I am creating subject selected category subject. Okay, I am keeping the subject as the pre, pre, uh, suffix so that you will be able to understand that it is a subject. I am creating a new subject. And here, so this will take the ID as this one. So ID in our uh, project in our application it is a string so that is the reason i am keeping it as a string so let's import this subject so now i am adding this subject yeah i have added this subject still it is not taking why what could be the reason yeah it has taken so subject it should be imported from the rxjs now we got the subject now we got the subject now what we need to do whenever the user changes the data we need to send the data through the subject so what i can do here instead of adding this one in the, this dot selected category id i can remove this what i can say the variable and here what i will try to do is here okay let's try to keep this one so we are getting some errors right selected category id is equal to sorry is equal to empty so we'll keep it like this for the time being now what i want to do is so here i want to do the next so this dot selected what i can say selected category subject dot next so what i need to send selected category id fine right so we are we are able to send the data now whenever the user selects here so if you try to see whenever the user changes the category we are sending the data through the subject somehow we need to subscribe to this one so somehow we need to have an observable to get this data right so now what i can do is here i can create an action selected category action so this one i am keeping dollar means this one is an observable so now what i am trying to do here this dot selected category subject i am converting this one to an observable so i am taking this one as an observable as we know that the subject acts both as an observable and also as an observer so now i am taking it i am taking this one as an observable and i am keeping in a variable selected category action now where whatever the data whenever you send to the selected category subject so we are taking an observable from this one right so this selected category action will be invoked now what i can do here so whenever this selected category action is invoked so it will it is sending the data selected category id so it has a data of selected category ID. if you hover here you will be able to see so it is having an observable of string string is nothing but selected category ID. now we have an action and also we have a data so we can combine this both data and action in order to get the filtered post so now here this filtered post is there right so here i can use operator combine latest so combine latest sorry combine latest and here you will be having array so combine latest takes an array list of observables so i am having this dot post dollar and another one is nothing but action stream that is nothing but this dot selected category action okay so this is the combi com combining the two observables so that i am mapping over this one so here you will get an array of so let's comment on this one also so that we will not get any errors control kc i will keep oh sorry so up to here control kc hey, everything gone so let's try to press enter yeah i want to make this one so i will remove this one for the time being okay so this is the combined latest i am doing the combined latest and we are having the post and also we are having this one so map of 
so here you will getting the array something like post and also the selected category id so we are getting the two things and here what i can do here the logic what we have seen so let's try to take this logic so we are returning this one right so the same logic we can take and we can remove this one all okay so that we can paste it here so now return post dot filter we are filtering the post in a such a way that instead of taking this this dot selected category id i can take selected category id is equal to selected category id or otherwise what i can do so we don't have this one so i can just paste it directly return okay post dot selected post dot category id is equal to is equal to selected category id okay or otherwise so what is the error we are getting okay we can remove the post so that we don't get any error yeah so now we are filtering the post so that post dot category id is equal to selected category whatever the user selects the category id we are filtering the post now what we have did we have created a subject and we have created an observables from the subject whenever we are sending a value to that subject automatically this observable will be invoked and here we are using the special operator the, the not special operator join operator that combine latest and we are combining both the data stream and the action stream so that the post data will be we will be getting automatically and the selected category action whenever the user selects the category will be getting the category ID. and here i am post i am filtering the post let's try to see the output so first time when you see the output we are not able to get the data so let's try to change the category if i try to change this category see you are getting only the it computers and if i click here so we are getting only the electrical and when i click on the networking we are able to get networking so hemant so we doesn't have anything so so we are able to successfully get the computers but when i click on the select category so that means if i doesn't select any category so what it is happening here we are not getting any data now let's try to see what is the problem so here we know that combined latest will only will be invoked so when at least one value should be emitted by both the observables but here we have taken it as a subject subject will invoke only subject at the default it will not emit any data when, when whenever any action is performed only it will emit the data so what i can do here i can convert this subject to a behavior subject so that by default it will invoke the it, it will send some uh, a default value so here i can say the default value will be empty and here i can check the condition in a such a way that if selected category is there then check this condition or otherwise simply return the true okay so we can use this condition also let's try to see the output so now what it will happen let's try to see the output if i try to see the output so we are refreshing so the let, let it refresh the page now we need to get the default category default post why because we are getting the first time the category id is empty and we are taking well, the category id is empty means we are taking all the posts so now when the user selects the category particular category means we are getting only that particular category if you try to see and if i select the networking and if i anything if i want to select i am getting only the data and also if you try to see and also if you try if i try to click on select category see we are getting all the posts irrespective of the category so this is how we will be so this is how we will be filtering the data so we will be listening to the user action using this observable action stream so this is how we will be doing hope you understood about this action stream so what we have did we have created a subject and we have converted an observable whenever the subject emits the data automatically this observable will be invoked and here the combined latest will be re-executed again so that's it so here we are not using any on init function or ng on destroy anything we are not using anything just we are achieving it through the rxjs operators and also through the async that's it hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you